There we go. Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. You know what today is. It's not only Gratitude Tuesday, but it's also Top of Mind Tuesdays here on the Ted Show with the one and only Yvonne Sandoval. What's up, Yvonne? How you doing? Good, everyone. Uh, happy Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. Yeah. I believe it. I like, I always on the week, on Sundays, I'm like, oh my God, I got a big week. And then before I know it, it's Friday again. It's just I know. like the blur. But that's okay. I like it that way. I enjoy being busy, busy, busy. That's, that could be a whole nother show on how to stay productive and busy, not just busy. Oh. Um, all right. So before we get into it, I love this topic. You know, Top of Mind Tuesdays is so important. Staying top of mind is so critical in our real estate industry, but really in any industry. And so before we take a deep dive into the do's, the don'ts, and the pitfalls of staying top of mind, give us a little background on Miss Yvonne. Well, I'm Yvonne from Leverage 365. Um, I have a marketing company here in Central Florida. Um, I work with realtors only, uh, real estate agents, um, helping them to achieve top of mind status with their database of contacts. So I'm um, here to help. Uh, let me know if you've been sitting on that database because it's <laughs> an overwhelming task, um, but it won't be because we're going to do it all for you. I so. love it. Well, yeah, you have the whole template set up. I mean, it's it's a it's almost a plug and play once you get the information from them. So yeah, it's, the, it's a beautiful. The one, thing, the one thing about agents is that they don't touch their database because they believe that all I'm going to do is just give them some directions of what to do. And I actually don't do that. What I do is I do it for you. So literally, I'm going to take it out of your hands, and I don't want to throw anything back at you to do throughout the year. So Very I. Good. Do it for you, um, so I'm not a I'm not a system. Um, I am your actual back office, um, so it's getting done, and you don't have to uh, think about it. Love it. All right, so we've got your website scrolling across the bottom there. Get Leverage 365. I hope I did it right. I hadn't had any coffee yet when I was typing that out. <laughs> um, all right, so stay top of mind's one thing. We hear it; it's the buzzword, it's the terminology. Stay top of mind. And yet, I think a lot of people don't really have any clue what that means, and then they do it the wrong way. So today, we're going to talk about the do's and the don'ts and the pitfalls of staying top of mind. And of course, with everything, Yvonne always has a pretty little presentation, so I'm going to bring that up right now. Thank you. I'm so visual that... I, I know. I am too. I love it that you have the presentations, because then I go back and look at them. Yeah. I, I really do. It's, it's really <laughs> awesome. All right, so let me let me get this so it's going to be full screen, and I think we're in. I haven't lost you, have I? Cool. So you know what? No, I'm here. Can okay. you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Great. Got awesome. awesome. So yeah, what we're talking about today is what to do, what not to do, and and it's you know it's social media, it's your you know it's your database, it's really about everything. Your your persona, your outward appearance to the world. So you know, we are in this industry, real estate, and Ted knows that um, we have to attract our tribe and we have to let people feel um, that they can trust us with the largest transactions of their lives. So with that being said, the things that you put out there, whether it's social media or through your email or through your direct mail are just in person is super important because we want people to remember us and stay top of mind, but we don't want them to remember us because of something that is <laughs> negative or, um, you know, scratch. we don't leave them scratching their head. Correct, because I think a lot of people think I'll do anything and that's better than nothing. Oh, I'm not necessarily a big proponent of that when it comes to social media because if you have a snafu, people don't forget it. Oh gosh, and you know what, I, when I was doing some research for this piece today, I wanted to get some samples. The things I was coming across, um, some of the uh, advertising, it's called bad real estate advertising. Um, if you want to take a Google of that, um, you will see some ads that you cannot believe. Um, and so uh, somebody needs to advise these people. Um, <laughs> if your picture still has a mullet in it, I need to change it immediately. If, if you're not if you're holding a cat in your picture of with your headshot, which there are several realtor headshots out there, 
um, which will, you know, speaking of which, since I'm very like, like, let's just talk about it. It's, let's do I, it. I let the cat out of the bag. Um, we're going to be doing headshots tomorrow at our class. We have a class, Ted and I, uh, with uh, Property Pros and Fidelity National Title. We're doing a class called Be Remembered, Be Referred. Perfect for today's topic. Uh, it's going to be tomorrow at the Citrus Club at 10 a.m. And we're going to be having an opportunity at the end if you'd like to get your headshot. You can get a professional headshot without any cats. We, we would guarantee there'll be no cat. <laughs> Please don't bring your cat. <laughs> I'm not <being> good. <laughs> People do it, Ted. I found tons of realtor headshots that had cats in them, dogs, lizards. Oh, and and mannequ not mannequins. Um, what do you call that? The uh, talk the dummies. Oh my um, god, like a ventriloquist. Yes, ventriloquist dummies. The, I'm telling you, if it's out there, I can find it. So also, if you got your picture taken at the mall, it's time for you to change your picture because no. never shots isn't even in business anymore. I don't think we almost sound like that guy Jeff Jeff Foxworthy. You yeah. might be a redneck I if. Yes. It might be a bad realtor if. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? We're not just, it's not just in the real estate industry. So, any realtors out there are like, we're not making fun of us. We are, but yeah. in a very loving way because we all have done stupid cards and done things that we think are good and great for marketing. And then we look back and we're like, what was I thinking? Well, we're here to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> so, you know, we got to laugh at ourselves because. Absolutely. Uh, but some, of the, some right. of the things you need to do um, with your, this is social media, um, is here's a, here's a great friend of both of ours, Ryan Letterer, um, and he is an amazing real estate agent, and he posted this yesterday, and this is what you should be doing on social media, asking, asking questions to get engagement. This will keep you top of mind because people are going to be asking and speaking about you to their friends and family, I mean, if you see, this was taken actually early yesterday, and he had 49 comments on it already, people contributing to the answer to his question, which is, who has been to Yellowstone? I need advice. And he put a great, you know, picture in the background. It's got a mountain, and, you know, so it's engaging. It's simple, but it's what needs to be done to keep you top of mind. So way to go, Ryan. Uh, yeah, because I think what's so important to point out about this is that Ryan is a real estate professional, that question has nothing to do with real estate. You know what? I think this, that it does nothing to do with real estate. And I think, Ted, now that I'm thinking about it, we should probably do something like this on every show where we go through our, our sphere and pick out some of the great Yes. Stuff, yeah, I agree. You know, I like that. So we can showcase that. So we'll, we'll showcase like some more of our, our friends out there who are doing. Our next friend is doing something just as great. Um, and this is uh, Deontay Lawrence. And Deontay is an awesome, uh, at, uh, EXP, he's with EXP, and he's a great agent, and he is out there doing it. He is being the news. He is, this is a do in your social media. You be the news. I want you to do something that's letting people know about the area in which you serve. You are making yourself top of mind because you're also showcasing yourself as an expert in your community. And Deontay's doing a good job at that. He has a sh he does this um, this little uh, show, if you want to call it, called "What's Up with Orlando," and he tells you all about things that are going on in the city. Um, and he's he's got a great you know backdrop of Lake Eola. He's got high energy, and he's just letting people know what's going on in the area in which he serves. And that is what you need to do to stay top of mind. So I don't want you to report the news like the next slide. The next slide is showing oh, you. Let me find it. I'm sorry. I'm behind. I was actually watching the slides. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is what a lot of people do. They'll post something from NAR, which NAR gives us amazing graphics and, and, and gives us great knowledge. And you should be using this in your business. But I don't want to see this posted. This alone is going to, um, is not going to have that kind of rapport that you're looking to build with your social media, with your with your database. So sending this out, it looks great, it's, and it's great figures and facts, but I need for you to do like Deontay, and I want you to get in front of the camera, or if you're not going to get in front of the camera, at least 
make a post that you've created um, and put your your branding on it, your logo, your photo. Um, as we did our Canva class of, uh, we, a couple times here on the show, um, as well as a Canva class that I do for real estate agents, um, I speak all about how to do that. The it, you know the actual technical how to do that, um, but it's important that you do it. So don't. Report. It's so important because I, I want to point out that that graph in and of itself is not necessarily a bad thing. Mm -mm. It's because a lot of people just take the graph and do nothing with it themselves and they just share it and they think that's going to have this dramatic impact and everybody's going to think they're the expert because they shared a graph. If you don't put your own personal spin on it, like Yvonne's talking about, people won't get to know you. So just make some comment about it. Look at it and give them some insight in your words as to how to read that graph and why it's important. It's just a sentence or two, but it separates you from the people who just share stuff and hope for the best. Absolutely. I want, I want you to not just be the news reporter who's just help telling the news. I want you to react to it. Your reaction, it's called commentating. So it could be a commentator and come yes. up and let people know about it. Of course, brand it with your own branding, which is you know maybe your logo, your face, and your contact information. And now you become the person that they associate right. the information with instead of just um, a, a graph chart. It's so not important. So, so important. All so, right, I gotta find the uh, graph. Hold on, I'm here. Remember, it's, it's Ted Boger trying to figure this stuff out. So give, give me a second, peeps. So here's, a, here's a what's not to do with your social media. I show this in class and I think it's awesome. And I, I, I can't show, it's hard because I'm trying to show you samples, but I can't, I don't wanna show anybody and call them out on it that we're, locally affiliated with but this yes. particular realtor is not he's in um, Arizona so if Kevin Owens is watching sorry Kevin but this is something you don't want to do and it's called being self-promotional this is the best an over-the-top social media post I've ever seen of somebody who's in love with themselves so <laughs> um, it oops, says oops. just sold by Kevin Owens uh, hashtag Scottsdale for 25,000 over list price in just one day with multiple offers. This is an older post from 2005, uh, 15 I should say, 2015, and you know that this is going on now. I've got people selling homes over you know, 40,000 over ask yes. in one day, uh, but I don't wanna see any of you doing what this is. What this says. Don't okay, you know in our market people are doing that. What's that? You know, in our market, yeah. we have a lot of people who do that. Stop. So explain to them why that's not necessarily the best thing. Well, first of all, this home sold, and I, I don't know what it did, if he had a gun to the person's head and made them give $25,000 over this price, or is it just that it's a really hot market and there's very low inventory? and houses are selling with multiple offers over less price. So did Kevin really do anything? I don't know, maybe he did, but it's not about Kevin. The whole idea is that you're helping people find shelter. Yes. You are on a mission of, you know, almost like the Blues Brothers, okay? <laughs> you're on a mission and you're <laughs> on a mission from God, if that's just, that's, that's, that's a true back in the day, by the way. I didn't make up that line. So you're, you cannot just showcase how great you are. It's not about you. This entire post is about Kevin Owens. He has his name in there three times and he even, he even created a hashtag, S-L-D-B-Y-K-O, which is sold by Kevin Owens, is the hashtag. So it's, it's out of control wrong. I want you to showcase the people that you helped find shelter, how you guided them and what they felt about you or how you felt about them. Because in the end, it is all about how you made someone feel. Amen to that. With Amen. Every Another pro a big problem going on, and I didn't actually list this, but in my, I was just doing some basic research yesterday because I always want to have other people's input, other people in this industry, and they agree with me that posting how much money you've made is an absolute 1,000% no-no, but it's happening consistently on social media. Stop list putting out how much money you've made um, and start putting out what you did 
for others. Yes, which brings us to this slide. Yes, this is a do as opposed to the don't. Don't be self-promotional, but promote others. Um, this is our friend Rose Kemp, a realtor for 21 years as of this year with Remax uh, Town Center. And Rose is doing it right. She is promoting others. So here is a business post from Good Good Crowd. This is a small business in the area in which she serves. Thank you, Will. Um, and the area in which she serves, she is showcasing them. She is. I'm actually going to go my, personally myself to Good Crowd today, and I'm going to buy some um, birthday gifts for my daughter. So if she's watching, um, that's where your gifts are coming from. Uh, <laughs> today is my today is my daughter's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Kayla. Thank you. I want to know you said thank you. Uh, happy birthday. But this is, a, this is a local business. You want to showcase and promote others. So this is a great thing that Rose did. And this, this just shows more and more so that she is the expert in her community. I want everyone to hear what I'm saying. Your job is to show people how much you can help them by um, what they've made you feel and what you've made them feel. But you need to always, always frame yourself as the community expert in the area in which you serve. Yes, because we want people. I want people to call me. We've talked about this a million times. If you need a lawn service, if you need a question, you need a venue for an event, Ted, do you know somebody at a restaurant? Have you been? I want you to reach out to me first because I want to be the community expert. And I want to be the, that point of the first person you think of. Why? Does that mean I'm going to get every single loan you have? Does that mean I'm going to get all of that? No. But keeping top of mind eventually leads to their seeds being planted and that business coming back to you. Yes. And the answer to that question could be yes. Every Maybe every loan a person's ever going to do will be with you. Could be. Because you have been their go-to person in, in, in many fields. And Ted makes himself um, an expert in his community. Okay, here's a, here's a definite don't. I mean, you, many of you may disagree with me, and I am here to say, this is my opinion. We're, we're this is Yvonne and Ted. Okay, <laughs> your, your opinion counts, but not on the show. No, okay, <laughs> this is us, and we're just telling to tell you that this is a news news letter. Okay, news is not something that's very um, sexy. It's not something that's very um, personable. It doesn't build a relationship. And this is such a generic looking email that would go out or a, or a printed uh, product. Uh, it just falls extremely flat. And as you can see, this is a template. This template has at the bottom a place, put your picture here, put your contact information here, this is going to go out to this person's database. This is going to go out to 14,000, 20,000 other people's uh, uh, recipients for other agents, 14,000 other agents and their databases, potentially millions of people. It is generic. It, you know, it's got a recipe on there, and it's got a, a, a little article, an article that has nothing to do with the person that's sending this out. So it's not personalized. It's got a generic house. Very cold. It's very cold. And I. this is something that is not, this is a do not. So. I'm not I, a fan of newsletters either, just for the record too, since it's the Yvonne and Ted show today. Yeah. I'm not really a big fan because I feel like just what you said, people don't personalize them. So if you're just taking it from a template and there's nothing that gives anybody an idea of what Yvonne or Ted or you actually represent, feel, think, yeah. then you're just throwing mud against the wall and hoping something sticks. And you know, maybe this particular agent hates green and yellow, maybe that, or orange, whatever color that is. Maybe <laughs> they hate that. that, but guess what? Do they have a choice? No. So the, the thing is, is that I say don't do newsletters, but the next slide, I'm gonna tell you what you should do. Oh yeah, next slide. Vanna White here is falling down. <laughs> on the He's doing a great job. Ooh, here we go. Do love letters. Do a love letter. Well, I what's say, a love letter? It's not a newsletter. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Do love letters. If these are the people that you're asking them to trust you with the largest transaction of their lives. And when you're sending out something, I want it to be from you. Believe me, the recipient knows the difference between yes. 
a generic templated, uh, you know, with a, with a generic house on it and some generic stock photo of a realtor that's not you. You know, you she's got blonde hair and you got and you have uh, brunette hair and that's the picture of the realtor in the in the photo of the article. Yeah. That does I mean <laughs> I'd rather you send a love letter. So this is a just an example of a, a, a love letter that goes out. Um, this is something that I created, um, so I can I have the you know, I want to show this. This is Nick uh, uh, Natase from uh, Property Pros, and you can see that. It, the, we got a great photo, and it's the photo em, evokes an emotion. It's it's you know, yes. That photo alone tells a story. Very much, I love it. That's such a great point. Yes. Yeah, it's a it's a you know mother, father, child. If you want to look at it that way, or however, but it's a home. It's warmth, and it's the article is written all about Nick. It talks about it is all it's all in the family. And it talks about how he grew up in a household, his father being in real estate. And it talks about how he went to work with his dad. And, and does that, you know, how does that affect a child? How does that bring them into the career they have today? It also has Nick's mission there. So remember we spoke about that real estate is a mission-based um, uh, uh, career, that you're helping people find shelter. So Nick has a mission statement and he's letting people know on every piece of his marketing material what his mission is, because his mission is different than Wendy Stewart or Ryan Latier or or any agent out there that was you know, Deontay, any of them. Each one of them has a different mission, the reason why they get up and do what they do every day. So he's letting people know this makes him stand out. This is not generic. These are the colors that he chose. These are not colors that were chosen for him. This is not a template. This was built for him. Um, and then you have his a slogan. It lets people know what, he, you know, in one little sentence, it wraps it up. Trust the guidance, enjoy the journey. Yes. And that is, this is something that is a do, and not only because I do this, and this is how, what I provide, but I, pro I do this because it's the right thing. This is what I believe is the right thing. First of all, I've never heard it called a love letter. Mm -hmm. But what a great spin on not having a newsletter, have a love letter. That's so good. Because yeah. that's what you want. You want the people to feel the love of what your passion is, what your what your wants are, what your desires are, your mission statement. Because people connect with you more if they, if they know where you're coming from and get to know you a little bit better than some generic, quote unquote, newsletter that would go out. Absolutely. And, and the next one is this All right, another. Let me get it. Sorry. Here we go. Ways. Different modes of communication that we're talking about today because there's social media, there's email. Now, this is a direct mail piece. So, in direct mail, this is another love letter. So, instead of doing a, you know, a greeting card, it sends out something that people can use of value. And this is Wendy Stewart, and Wendy Stewart loves pink. Her, her marketing material, even though she's with the same brokerage, she's the managing broker, it looks totally different because every single agent has a different persona, a different way of thinking, a different way of doing. So pink is her color, and we have in here five restaurants because Wendy is the expert in her community and the, the, the expert in which she in, in her community in which she serves, St. Cloud. So here she's got five restaurants in the St. Cloud um, area that she frequents and that she wants to let others know about. So this is a postcard that goes out to her um to her top 50 people, the people who have referred her business are going to refer her business. It keeps her top of mind. So this is a great way, multiple modes of communication we speak about, to do something that's bringing value. You can mail a newsletter, you can email a newsletter, but I would rather you email and mail a love letter. Yes, I love the love letter. Thank that's you. my new favorite. Thanks. And then the next thing to do here is social media. I want you to share more of you, not um, you know, stats and, and pictures of houses. Put out there what you're doing. What are you doing in your community? Who are the people you associate with? Show your tribe. So here we have me and Cindy DaCosta, and you know, we attended um, Osceola Women's Council of Realtors. And as if you as you know, 
Women's Council of Realtors is some is an organization that I work with very, very intensely. I work with multiple networks. Um, I sit on the board of multiple networks, and it is a fantastic organization. If you are not a member, uh, think about you know joining uh, your local um, your local network because it is going to help you build your business. And men, yes, men and women, you're not just limited to having only um, women join. You can absolutely uh, join as a, as, a, as a man. And as a strategic partner, you partner with these people because they're going to help you build your business. Yes. So share yourself in social media, and I'm gonna show you um, how not to share yourself on the next slide. This is don't share too much of you. Okay, this is this is actually a picture. I know it looks generic, but it actually is not. This is a picture from a realtor who posted this on his social media. I took away his name and and his other um, information, but I because I'm trying to be like I don't know. I'm guessing to... the fact that he's up on the ladder, buff. <laughs> I, I'm assuming that's him. Oh yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah. He had several posts like this. Uh, of him. I mean, I got to give him credit for working what he's got, I guess. But <laughs> he had a picture of himself shirtless with an apron on in the kitchen of this house. As I got to take myself off for a second. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this and this is actually pictures that he posted of a home that he has for sale. So this is real. This is you, you got it, flaunt it, but wow. And the thing is, is that. There's so many negatives to that. I mean, yes, he'll, is he going to attract a certain group because of that? Of course, he's going to get attention. But the negative attention that he's going to get, I think, far outweighs the positive attention. Well, and the, the next slide is a very, is a, also, this is a realtor. This is I'm scared. I haven't seen these slides, so this should be good. There, this is a realtor. This is her, and she has several pictures in this home. Uh, in the different rooms, and of course, she's showcasing this pool table. Can't you, don't you know? It's all about the. It's all about that pool table. Um, as you can see, there's a door. <laughs> like, Are we not going to talk about the wood paneling? I, I mean, know. what is happening? There's a wood paneling. There's a, a sailfish, and you've got a door that, if you were, were to walk through it, you would fall. Like I think it's about three feet off the off the ground. Um, it, it, but <laughs> she's. This is not me. I did not make this up. I did not get this from stock photo. I swear this is a realtor. This is, um, oh, she had another shot of her on the stairs and the camera is pointing up the stairs and that's all you need to know. And I think what the point is, like, I don't want anybody to think we're making fun. I'm not. If you don't, if you don't know any better, you think it's okay to do photos like this. So it's yeah. not a matter of your your social media is all bad. You just need direction. And I mean, maybe her audience are all people who love wood paneling and pool tables. I don't know. But you definitely don't exactly. want to share way too much. Well, this is the thing. I mean, realtors are, you know, they're attractive people. I'm saying that because it is absolutely true. We love, we love them. And, you know, you take such great care of yourself. You are always um, very, you know, uh, put together. But look at this guy. He is, don't, he's LA's hottest realtor, don't you know? That's God real. Bless yeah. him. Did you see what Rose just said? Hey guys, what we sell? <laughs> I don't know, Rose. I didn't look at these slides beforehand, so I'm, I'm literally, I think I'm red. I'm embarrassed. Um, but not only because I'm, I don't know. I mean, listen, again, I don't want, if you work that hard at your fitness and that's what you want to do, I guess that's fine. But again, no, it's not. It negative. No, <laughs> it's not. Stop it. You think that this, 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 on, this is probably on Sunset Boulevard or something. I, don't know. I mean, he's definitely working his audience because if he's in LA, that's what LA responds to. Some they of them. do, but put it this way. Okay, maybe this guy can get away with it, but really, I'm laughing. I mean, I'm laughing at it. Do you really? I don't know. I mean, put it. That's it. I'm going to take one of those pictures. <laughs> or, <laughs> I can't even say it. Orlando's hottest LO. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's VIP Ooh. mortgage groups and lady <laughs> advertising is going to be. The hottest LO, and we probably should have a beauty, we should have a beauty uh, uh, contest or what do you call that, a pageant 
the yes. hot, hot, hottest realtor, male and female. And then we could have that. We, instead of, we need a dad bod one. That's what I would <laughs> Well, this is the thing. I'm just trying to say that, you know, it's great to laugh at this, but please just remember if you want to break into the luxury or even just like regular market, showing your abs, getting on a, um, you know, getting on a ladder, painting, you don't have to do that. You are a professional and you should act such and you don't need to put that, that image out there to get people to work with you. Um, if you do, I'm just trying to tell you, people are going to put you on the Ted, the Ted show. We're going to laugh at you <laughs> <laughs> in a loving way because you don't know any better. I, yeah, I, I, well, I, just, I, feel yeah. that I think people they do try, right? So in their minds, it's some sort of effort that they're making. But if they would just go with someone who has who can guide them, that's really where it's at because you just don't know. And so people throw a whole bunch of junk and hope for the best. Um, I can't imagine posing for those pictures. Although, you know, I have been taking a picture in a dress and high heels, so I don't really have a lot of room to talk. That, that, look, that, that, I think you in a dress, high heels for a charity event is what yes. you for, Ted. You forgot to tell people. a billboard of my body on something. That's but, something. you know, that is, that is absolutely uh, making fun of yourself, but showing that you are doing it for a charity, for a greater cause than yourself. So that, I think that, you know, that's not the same thing, but make sure that when you're, you're posting anything, I don't want to see any kind of uh, unprofessional conduct and that unprofessional conduct. If you don't know, um, then you are here to tell you. <laughs> yes. And ask us because we'll give you our opinion. We love you guys. And All right. So how do people reach you, Yvonne? What's the best way since we ran way over, but I love this oh, so great conversation. <laughs> Uh, leverage, uh, get leverage 365.com, or you can reach out to me through Yvonne Sandoval, my Facebook page, uh, leverage 365 Facebook page as well. And we hope to see you, uh, tomorrow if you're in the area here at the Citrus Club, um, having a great time at 10 a.m. And we're going to talk more about this subject, um, and also opportunity to have your headshot. Also, I'll be giving away a raffling a uh, clubhouse in invite so you'll have an opportunity to get your clubhouse invite so so come on down we'll hope come to on see down you. reach out to us all right get leverage 365.com yvonne sandoval that was awesome thank you guys for tuning in all the comments and the love uh great show thank you guys we'll be back next tuesday next top of mind tuesday we'll see you soon if you have something you want to talk about something you want us to teach you Please reach out to us. We'd love some ideas. Absolutely. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.